and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be embarking on an adventure of creation where we create something that is certainly, well, zippy. You see, we're going to be creating this lovely zippy zebra. Zipping zebra. Oh yeah. So my lovely friend, grab something to make a mark with and something to color with and let's make a wonderful zipping zebra. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're going to be doing a zipping zebra. Yes, a zipping zebra. So we're going to grab our mark maker, and here we go. Starting on the left side of our page, we're going to draw zebra's head, so we're going to draw a nice big curving line. Then we're going to drag it up and down a little bit. Our zebra is zipping really fast, so we're going to have the ear kind of blowing sideways in the wind here. So we're going to drag a nice line and point it out and bring it back. Add in the second line up the middle for the fold of the ear. We're going to draw a straight line out for the back. And then we're going to do the legs. So it's going so fast, its legs are like on an angle. So we're going to do one big uh, part, part of a rectangle. Anyways, going this way on a diagonal. And then we'll draw a letter C for the back leg to start with. I'm going to second rectangular shape, just like that. And anytime you need me to stop or slow down, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. From this top line, up here we're going to draw a straight line out for the tail and add a second parallel one. And then all we got to do is connect these two lines here, so we're just going to drag this line down, down to there. All right, zigzag lines for the tip of the tail. Now we're gonna go back to the head, and all we have to do is drip, add a line and connect these body parts. I'm gonna start the head, drag line down, connect to this leg, skip over it, connect to the back one. Right now we only see two legs, so we're gonna have two more legs that we're gonna draw a little bit smaller and shorter to make them look like they're farther away. We'll add them in that, the back there. Now the zebras have some very awesome hair. So we're gonna add some a mane going this way and then we're gonna switch it and go backwards. But it's gonna be super crazy zigzags that are going whoosh on an angle here. All right. We'll color in the bottom of each leg for a hoof. We'll go back to the face. We're gonna add a nostril and a little smiley. Boop. We can add an eye, so we're gonna draw a nice big curving line and we'll make it nice and thick for the eye so it's like so happy. Okay, I like to add little dashing lines for the snout, you know, cause it's kind of a different fur texture here. It's nice and smooth and more like small hair versus longer hair. And then we just gotta add stripes. So we're gonna take a uh, black and we're gonna just zigzag down. Add some stripes to the hair. Use whatever you want to draw with. And then add some stripes to the body. And in the 
ear. And now it's going really fast, so we gotta add some zippy lines, and I'm just gonna make them sort of like lightning bolts here and make them super zigzaggy to use the line to help sort of create the idea of movement. It's going so fast. We'll add some just plain ones in here. All right, and now we got a zipping zebra. Now, there's not too much to color, so you can grab something to shade with. I'm gonna use just gray, oh, and I'm gonna use a nice soft pink, I think, for the ear and the snout. And you can grab whatever you want to color in your lightning bolts. I think I wanna do like maybe yellow and blue. I don't know. Some, I'll figure it out. But you can do whatever you want on yours, so grab your choice of coloring mediums and colors, and go ahead and color in your zipping zebra. All right, and once you're done, your zip zipping zebra is done.